everything you fought taught me from day one. How old you been? Everything ain't working, baby. Everything ain't working. Oh, okay. Good. Hey, hey boy, be like careful. It. I got you. Okay. Thank like you. All right, baby. Be good. Make sure like everything it. good. All right. All right. Yes, sir. It makes more sense in his case, even if his beginning came on streets that offered hardly any more promise. You know, I stayed with my dad for a certain period, so for a certain period of time. Then eventually, I moved with my mother to Jersey. Um, there was seven people staying in a one-bedroom apartment, no heat. I mean, sometimes no lights. You know, my mother was. She was on crack at one, at one particular time. And eventually, you know, I moved back to Grand Rapids, Michigan with my father. Um, you know, I asked my mother, can she move back also? And she eventually moved back to Grand Rapids, Michigan. And um, I was happy when she moved back, but she was back on drugs. You know, I seen my dad um, sell my mother drugs. You know, just those are the things that I went through in life. But I, I'm sure, of course, for Floyd Mayweather, there's more than just uh, nice automobiles more than just mansions, more than just millions of, millions of dollars. It's about giving back. You know, I love to, of course, give back to the less fortunate, uh, give back to a lot of public schools because that's where I come from, a hard, rough life. Where you at, little Floyd? Right here. Okay, there you are with the crisscross. We call it red, green, yellow, black. But them to the shoes, Floyd. <laughs> but there was also a dark side to Floyd's childhood. With a drug addicted mother and a father who always seemed to find trouble. The Mayweather household was a dangerous place. When Floyd Jr. was only one, the elder Mayweather was shot in the leg during a family dispute, holding Floyd in his arms when the bullets flew. I've seen a little bit of everything. Seen shootouts, been in the middle of shootouts. When my dad was hustling, doing his thing, I seen my dad sell my mother drugs. And um, things happened. You know, that was my life. Then, years later, when Floyd was 16 years old, the older Mayweather found trouble again when he was arrested for selling drugs. My dad um, was locked up. My dad was locked up in the feds. I had to become a man at a young age, at 16. At 16, I had to provide for myself. I had to make a way for myself. And every day, all I did was continue to dedicate myself to my craft, which was boxing. Winner from the red corner. took it like a champ, but not USA Boxing. They need to get rid of the whole system and get a new establishment to control amateur boxing. I think that, you know, I don't really want to say I won a bronze medal. I think it's best to say I received a bronze medal because you can't win a bronze if you lost. Anybody with one eye at 90 years old can tell me that Floyd Mayweather didn't score at least 40 blows in those three rounds. Floyd Mayweather won that bout. He won every round. And I said, with all due respect, I will not be involved in an organization that cheats young men out of their right to have a gold medal. And there's my resignation. We all know I got ripped off, you know. I got to live with, you know. I'm going to, you know, take my bronze medal, you know, and go home, you know. And, you know, it's time for me to turn professional, you know. I can't deal with this amateur boxing anymore. Floyd was raised in the gyms of Grand Rapids, Michigan. A youth spent studying those who came before him. His father and his uncle Roger, both well-regarded pros. Still, it was clear early on his talents surpassed even his pedigree. In 1993, under his father's tutelage, Floyd won his first National Golden Gloves Championship. He was 16. 
it felt good, but it was very hard. I was struggling, you know, struggling to fight. Mm -hmm. But for, first, I want to thank the good men upstairs for giving me this opportunity to win the, the national championship. And second, second of all, I want to thank my father. Get rides to the gym any way I can if I had to take a bus. Sometimes the snow came up past my knees. I was carrying a heavy, a heavy bag on my back just to get to the gym, just to make things happen. He would jog for miles, I mean miles. He and his dad would just ride along. And I say that he would say, if I quit, then my dad's gonna call me a punk. And I'm like, well, just tell him. He's like, no, I can't tell him, you tell him. We start calling Big Floyd Joe Jackson because it was to the point where Floyd just ate, slept, and drank boxing. That's what his life was consumed of. They go to the gym in the morning and they stay tonight. So it was, it was hard on him. He didn't never get to play that much. Like the other kids did, he didn't. Because a person is a Christian, a person is a Catholic, a person is a Muslim, a person is a Jew, I feel under God, I, we all are one. So I find myself praying all day, all day. I pray every day and all day. Tell nobody know it. That's one of my secrets. And I told you. <laughs> Right until the end of the round, and even into the next round. Don't quite know what's going on here in the ring. It's all motion. It's all getting a little bit heated because, as we said before, this is a very pro Pacquiao house. And Mayweather is celebrating and working the audience. And some people didn't like it. Sells tickets. And I'm here to sell tickets. You know, I'm a performer. That's what I do. I sell myself. I'd rather be hated for being real and who I am than be loved for someone that I'm not.